about to go down because of the clock. I have offered her a fair deal many times for the property along the river, but the old biddy won't sell. Soon she's gonna force me into taking some sort of action. What could you possibly want with the swampy land anyway? It's no good for anybody. Look at her face. It's like melting <laughs> off. Little do you know here, <laughs> Gertie, my dear. Let's just say I happen to know it's worth a great deal and I have several rich potential investors who would back me up. Who would back me up. Well, tell me. I've said too much already. You'll probably go and blab everything to Ethel the Lush. Look at her, her face! I've all the nerve, well, if I were Ethel, I wouldn't what? sell you any land either. What? You're no better than a low-down snake in the grass. I don't know what my daughter sees in you. My affair with Gloria is none of your business. Besides, she doesn't care what you think. You're trying to exploit my daughter just like you tried to exploit everyone else. Well, I've got the goods on you now, mister. <laughs> I know about your little racehorse scam. If you don't want your P's and Q's, I'm going to screw you up. Try it, lady. I've had enough of this. Or should I say Duke Nukem? <clears throat> <laughs> All right, so Gertie has split personalities. Good to know. Hey, you know... <laughs> I give her a little bit of personality, otherwise it's right, so just holy. Gertie just left in a huff because she thinks that Clarence is not good enough for her daughter Gloria. and Which, been... you know, that's pretty true. You've entered the parlor of an old mansion. Against the back wall, you notice a sculpted marble bar, and in the corner, a parrot swings from its bird stand. Noodles! Noodles. So, we're going to look oh. at the bottle. There's Jeeves. It's a butler holding gold. I think those are biscuits. Gold! Get the gold! Jeeves! <laughs> <laughs> oh. He's raided the vault! Get him! Get gold! <laughs> Would you like a drink? Oh, no, thank you. Mm. Those are well, drinks? Looks like biscuits! That's What the heck kind of drinks are those? Looks like a fine cognac. Parrot. The parrot cocks its head quizzically. Quizzically. Of course it does. Mack. It looks like it's talking already. Let's see. <laughs> it's just mumbling to itself. <laughs> Sounds about right. You can put a look at Satan. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> you know. Still mighty subconscious. A marble statue of a lovely Greek maiden stands in the corner. Take statue, sell at pawn shop, win game. You can talk to Clarence. Whoops. He's got an impressive uh, skill there with blowing smoke rings. Clarence sits there smoking his cigar. He doesn't answer. Too busy smoking this fat cigar. Can't push him. Why is kissing an option for everything? Why? You hardly even know the man. Can't get You're him. trying to make her into like a flapper. <laughs> <laughs> She's so single. You know, I'm just trying to help her out. Oh, dear. So, I think we've done a good amount of eaves eavesdropping at this point. Um, now it's time to leave the house. Mm -hmm. That's That's the end of the game. I think we found out all that we need to find out. Now, is that a Pretty pencil on the, on the ground, or is it not? That's where I can't... Okay, hang on. It could just be a crack on the ground. It because... could be. You notice... Hey, look. You notice two deep scuff marks on the floor near the two armoires. I never right. noticed. Give you, give you the hint to yeah. open armoires, so yep. there's a way that you know, mm -hmm. sort of. Actually, I never noticed that, though. That's pretty cool. It is cool. Look holes. Them holes. Them holes. Dat horse. You don't see anything, but you hear what sounds like someone snoring. <laughs> you hear? I can see it. I can see it, I can too. See the snoring? Yeah, I can see that. Jeez, Laura, open your eyes. Don't you see the Zs? That was very visual sleeping. <laughs> what is Z? All right, so, well, let's just go is check on Gertie. Have a necklace? Can you take the necklace off the cat statue? 
Uh, no, I, I believe that's Bastet. The cat mm -hmm. Bastet. Right? No. Okay. Casper? No. Bastet. No. I don't know. Doesn't matter. This is the cozy uh -oh. guest room which Gloria and Gertie are sharing. Uh oh. Act Ooh, two. Act two. What could that mean? This game is acting up. Look, I can see her sleeping. Z. Yeah, there's a lot of them. Well, I think that's a good place to save my game. Shave it right here. Man, it's been a while since you saved. What's wrong with you? <laughs> I know what I'm doing. Gertrude Dijon is the colonel's widowed sister-in-law. She's obviously behind the times, as she looks like she stepped out of the gay 90s. A bit of a snob, she walks around with her nose up in the air and has an annoying habit of constantly playing with her many strands of pearls. You know, I just remembered this, and I made this observation last time I played it, but the guy is Colonel Dijon, right? Colonel Dijon, yes. Dijon's kind of mustard, so he's Colonel Mustard. Yes, Colonel Mustard. Very yeah. good. I get it. Go you. you. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. All right, so this is interesting. I stepped out of the room and look. There's something on the floor. Someone peed. That's not pee. Oh. It's a handkerchief. Oh, sorry. I've been playing too much The Sims. There's blue puddles of pee anywhere, anyway. That's a handkerchief. Okay. Well, hanky. It accepted it. It accepted it. So this is interesting. We were just in Gertie's room, right? Mm -hmm. Am I a safe? That's a safe assumption. We were just there. We yes. leave, and there's a handkerchief right in front of her door. Somebody got away in a hurry. That's the hanky. Uh. It appears that someone is, uh... But now check this out. Let's go back, since that's weird. There's a handkerchief. Let's go back in the room. Well, this is odd. Did something happen in here? A small table is lying on its side near a wide open window. Is that cigar smoke you smell? Well, I don't know, is it? Weren't you we tell just me. In here? I, we were just in here. I think we better look out the window and see. Someone jumped. Maybe. Curiously, you peer through the open window into the darkness outside. Looking downward, you think you may see something, but you can't make out any details. You actually needed glasses, but you didn't buy them because you thought that they would make you look even more homely than you already do. Ow. So you ignored the optometrist and didn't even bother. Which Check has resulted. <gasps> ah! <laughs> you just get scared. <laughs> <laughs> we better go what? see. We better go see. It's one of the henchmen from Carmen San Diego. Go get him. Oh no. Dun 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 <laughs> Oh Hang on, I'm getting a oh. vision. Oh no, it's dad again. One important tool a good detective uses. <laughs> I'm just gonna interrupt your day here. Besides that, in asking questions of people is to selectively reveal information to them and listen to their responses. If you tell Gloria about Fifi, you may receive additional information about Fifi, or at least what Gloria thinks of her. Yes, I know all of the people okay. that are in this mansion. Dad, there's been a murder. Oh, doesn't matter. Uh, if you found any items you're confused about or would like to see information, try showing it to the others. They may reveal more information about it, too. You know, that's great, but Gertie just fell out her window. Thanks. Thanks, Dad. I think she's like looking up in the sky. <laughs> Thanks, Daddy. Like, he's actually up there. Like, he's, you know, friggin' Mufasa from he's the Lion dead. King. He's not dead. Like, her dad is still alive, actually. So What the heck? Like, yeah, I know. She's kind of... She's kind of crazy then, I guess. That's all. I actually wanted to go down here, and I keep missing the door. There we go. See, if she'd gotten those glasses, she would not actually be able to see the ghost of her alive father. And <laughs> The ghost of her alive father. <laughs> wow. I mean, what else is it? Has this guy got like a holographic system? Oh, yeah. I know. This is the southwest corner of the mansion, right outside the billiard room. Also the scene of someone being dead. Oh dear, it looks as if Gertie has accidentally fallen from her upstairs window and killed herself. Or was it an accident? I don't know, but I'm glad she's dead because I didn't want to do her weird voice again. <laughs> oh, Gertie's dead all right. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's dead all right. I just imagine like Laura Bo kicking her. Oh, just, let's see. I... Just kick trying to see if we can search the body. There are a few bodies that you do have to search, hands down. Ah, uh, yes. You quickly examine Gertie's body and see that she died of a broken neck. You can see no clues as to what might have happened. 
Quick, take a picture yeah. just in case. <laughs> take pearls. The pearl necklace doesn't belong to you, Laura. Oh, it's okay. I'm dead. Her eyes are like huge black X marks. I know. What happened? Well, that's not Gertie, that's Gloria. <laughs> Dang it! Oh, and then another ghost pops up. I am actually a hero. You know I mean? <laughs> it appears that like Gloria is more in the mood to listen to music than talk to you. Well, you know did what? Did you not notice? Her mom you know? is dead out there. I gotta tell her. She didn't notice the body falling. Mother! Oh no! It can't be. Well, actually, it it can. Well, something weird's going on though. Check it out. She's gonna go out. She's gonna check. That took all of two seconds. You're very mean. There's nothing there. So this cri whoever this murderer is, is quick. He has already moved that body. Yeah, I mean, you know, handkerchief, body moving. Uh, hang on. Show Gloria Genki. <laughs> okay, so... She hates us now, because she thinks we just lied to her about her she mother. She hated us anyway. She hated us anyway, probably, yeah. It's true. She thinks you're a square. Let's see. Um, What's down that uh, little, little double doors? Oh, you'll see. Oh. You shall see. I want to see it now. You shall see it all. We don't have to go outside quite yet. We will, but not yet. Be patient. Okay. She's too scared to anyway. Now keep your eyes on the windows in back because in the game, every now and then you'll see there. It ah! Is. <laughs> ah! Yeah, I know. It's kind of scary. It's a little off-putting when you first uh, when you first see that. That's yeah. I don't like it. Ooh. Dude, the lady looks like ET. Oh, well, that's not very nice. Just, just saying right there the. Now, particular. now, child, ain't no use getting yourself upset. These things have a way of working themselves out. <laughs> oh, I know, Sally, but... Oh, hi, Laura. Hi. Am I interrupting something? E.T. is making bread. I think my southern voices could stand a little bit of, uh... <gasps> Southerning up. You need to drink some sweet tea before you oh, say God, anything. Oh, God, no thank you. <laughs> if I wanted sugar, I would just go have a spoonful of sugar. Hey, that's that's a remedy too. <laughs> Come and get it. Mm. Here's that gold Aww. that no wanted from earlier. Look at the doggy. <laughs> he's so happy, and now he's like not. There's a large doghouse outside the kitchen door. You see the name Beauregard written over the doghouse door. Let's see something. Play with dog. You're not close. I am on top of it, man. You have to be standing on the dog's ears in order to... Well, well, look who's home. It's Beauregard. Let's see, put... We have a soup bone. Mm-hmm. What? Why? Ugh. No! Ugh. What? What was that? I fucked up. It'll be uh. fine, Mr. Lillian, you'll see. All right, I meant to... Give a dog a bone. Wait, give the bone to dog. Okay. I thought we had to put there it in go. his bowl for some reason. All right. So he's gonna. So. When do we do the cellar? Um, I don't know, but I'll try in a few. You peer into the dark interior of the dog house and look around. What's this? Why, it looks like a necklace of small amethyst and quartz stones. Beauregard must have found it someplace and brought it here. You quickly grab it and take it with you. Oh, that's Sierra gameplay with their valuables spread out all over the map. Mm-hmm. So this is actually Sully's necklace. My necklace! I was wondering where it got to. Well, Missy Laura, thank you! And now, guess now what? Now she likes you? We're friends. Yeah! Best friends. Best friends forever. Make some bread. I actually don't know how to spy on them. Or if there is a way to. If there's a way to spy on Sully and uh, Lillian. 
I'm not sure I ever figured that out. Oh, I know. Open those armoires, can you? <laughs> In which, oh, and those? Um, I don't know. I, I really don't think there's a way. Uh, this, I don't know. I mean, it's just a, a cabinet. but It's a hutch. Dang that shadow. I know. Maybe your friend's hungry. She keeps coming in here. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Thanks for noticing. Someone's dead. <laughs> oh, she'll go see. <laughs> I like Sorry, how I'm... Sully's just like, okay, I'm making bread. <laughs> Still making bread here. Oh, you're just imagining things, Laura. No one believes me. But, what the, what, what? Uh, what? No, no game, no. Oh, did you see that? Yeah, what was that? I don't know. I'm saving my game, though, because I free. I thought I was stuck. Lily. Yeah, that was almost really bad. That was almost really <laughs> bad. I was all, I was, oh. I was expecting characters to start half disappearing. That's not good. I've never seen that happen before. It was interesting. I'm just gonna, for kicks, try to go into the cellar. Cellar door. I, well, there, there we go. go. This must be the butler's room. Actually, it's not too bad considering it's down in the cellar. Uh, okay, Jeeves is not dead. He's actually just asleep. You caught me doing something. I'm going to look at that table because, as you can see, there's something in there. You see a box of crackers on the nightstand next to Jeeves' bed. Take oyster crackers. You ask Jeeves if you can have his crackers. His cra he nods his head in approval, even though he's sleeping, kind of. I don't know why you want my crackers. I deserve a little peace and quiet in my own room. You come in here, take my crackers. <gasps> Kindly leave my room. That's the that's the only time I'm going to say that. Please leave. Just go away. I just I'm tired. I, I don't want to converse. What <laughs> what is He's too strange. <laughs> <laughs> I love how she has an excuse for everyone. Yep. Can he kiss the dog? You can try to kiss the dog. That's a good point. I can kiss the dog. I think all I need right now is the crackers. <laughs> the crackers. The crackers. Mm, oyster crackers are yummy. Mm-hmm. Don't kiss a dog. <laughs> Jeez. Is there something you can kiss? No. Is there Afraid not? So they they just programmed all these kissing things. Yeah, basically. Just in case. You know, you're a girl and girls just go around kissing everything. You always understand me, you know, silly. I know, darling, you'd be all right. That's right. You make that here again. Such good bread. So, guess what? We're going to go outside now and search. Ah, yes. It's time. I know you wanted to really badly, so. Heck yeah. Go out there and see the fountain and stuff. Yeah. It's not just right. We've got to tell him about it. Do you mean it's just not right? No, well, it's not crackers. just right. No, it'll work out, Wilbur. I've got some plans. Why do we have the same voice, even though we're voiced by two different people? <laughs> that hundred grand we took from Henry, where would you get that kind of money? I know people. <laughs> I can do it, trust me. <laughs> <laughs> Why were we so stupid as to buy a racehorse anyway? Well, buy into a racehorse. Yeah, so they're gambling. Yeah. And use Henry's money! Sure. Oh! It would have worked out. Wilbur, it wasn't our fault that fucking horse broke his leg. Ugh, my eyebrows are gonna fly away. <laughs> All I can say, Clarence, is you'd better do something fast. Because if you don't, 
I'm fast enough. Uh oh. So they're embezzling money, basically, and they're putting it into this racehorse. I'll handle it well, but just don't be stupid and say something. Something. <laughs> I've got to go. <laughs> <laughs> Remember. Don't say nothing. Don't say uh, nothing. It's a double negative, so I can say negative. anything. You gave yourself away. <laughs> All right, let's go look through these holes. Just to 